We have no excuse for saving money for emergencies. All we need is small amounts of money, so stay tuned, let me show you how. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving money for emergencies, let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And if you would take this time to subscribe to this channel, if this is your first time here, commenting on this channel, liking, smashing the like button, uh, hitting the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video and share this video because there may be someone that needs this content also. I am running across a lot of people that are not saving for emergencies. And these videos that I am creating is to help encourage and motivate someone to start saving if they're not saving. Saving is very important, very essential. We need to save, that way we'll have something to tap into in case we have an emergency, which they can be avoided. And sometimes, you know, people just don't even have a mind to save. That's how I used to be. I've been working, making good money. Just didn't have a mind to save. And then once I got into all this debt, I couldn't save. But glory be to God, I do not have all this debt anymore. Paid off my car, paid off my credit cards. So, you know, I have extra money to save, but at the same time, when I had these, I was like, that's it. I got tired of being broke. I got tired of robbing Peter Pay Paul. I got tired of living from paycheck to paycheck. And I got tired of not having money when the emergencies came. So I was like, I'm gonna start sacrificing. And I just started taking small amounts of money and being patient, that's what we need to do. Being consistent, keep adding to it, and being disciplined, don't touch it. And it has been adding up until I reached my $1,000 emergency fund. And I did that last year. I started these videos. Well, actually, before I even started the videos, I had been saving prior to that. But then I thought, you know, I can um, do videos showing other people the importance of saving. Because like I said, there are a lot of people not saving. There are people that are saving, but there are a lot of people that are not saving. You know, and one thing that helped me, I stopped shopping, staying out of Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Walmart, you know, stop buying clothes I didn't need and buying items I didn't need. And that helps. You know, sometimes we got to get rid of bad habits like drinking, smoking, you know, things like that. That's money. But anyway, I got a point that I was really talking about. <laughs> okay, so we need to do whatever we can do. You know, we need to get out of credit card debt, pay off a car loan if we have one, and, or either, oh, this is what I was saying. I started taking small amounts of money, even though I had bills to pay. I, I start saying, I'm gonna treat money like it's a, a you know, like you treat the bill money. Bill money has to be paid. Like you have to pay your rent. You have to pay your mortgage. You have to pay your utilities. I have to save. So that's how. I, so I start just taking small amounts of money every week because I have a nine to five and I have a side hustle. And sometimes those nothing we have to do increase our income. There's things we can do on the side to make extra money. You know, if your nine to five is not enough. But you know what, I made it enough. I just was taking it out anyway. And um, then and start paying off things. And, and when you pay off things, you'll be surprised. You'll have extra money. I was surprised to see, I'm like, 
Wow. But I didn't take it and go shopping. That's how I used to be when I would have extra money. Always finding something to buy, looking for something to buy. No, not no more. I got enough. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't mean to get off my point. But, like I said, we can take small amounts of money and save it. And it adds up over time. So, this today's video is I'm doing savings challenge number six. I have seven all together, but I basically do six of them. The seventh one is on Sunday, but I, sometimes I don't do that one. But anyway, um, and this is savings challenge number six, and I do it every Saturday. And it is working with this coupon holder. Now, last week, last Saturday, I completed this. I believe it was last Saturday. Let me see, today is March 30th, I believe, is it? Yeah, no. Yeah, today is March 30th, Saturday. Yeah, and um, on the 29th of March, I completed this. And what I've been doing is stuffing, what I did was, was stuffing this, this is a coupon, holder that I purchased from Dollar Tree and this is not a sponsored video. I was in there getting supplies for my cash stuffing binder and I saw it and I thought, oh, that'd be good for cash stuffing. I just didn't know what I was going to do with it. But then I came up with the idea of stuffing it with $20. It has seven slots and last week I completed it and the total added up to $140. So once I completed it, I took that money and I invested it into my brokerage account and I uh, purchased some uh, ETF. The ticker symbol is SPLG. Okay, it was $140 because like I said, it's 20 slots, I mean, four, seven slots and I was putting $20 bills, which added up to $140 and I put this into my brokerage account. Okay, so now we're starting over. So. If you're in, okay, last week, no, this, the, no, 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 the week before on the 16th is when I completed it. Because last week on the 23rd, I started over. So here's my $20 from last week on the 23rd. So yeah, March 16th, I completed it. Yeah, here it is right here. <laughs> That's why I have to write this stuff down. So anyway, uh, we're going to be adding now. If you would like to participate in this savings challenge, and this, once this is completed, now I put it in my brokerage account, but you can put this towards your $1,000 emergency fund, which we need to have in case of a small emergency. You know, maybe one for $50, $100, $200, anything up to $1,000. We'll cut uh, a $100,000, I mean, you mean $100,000, I mean a $1,000 emergency fund could cover something small. So, but then once you get that, you don't stop there. You keep adding until you get three to six months of your expenses, okay? And then you need to have like a reserve account, okay? That's what I'm doing now, too. I got my $1,000 money fund, I got my three to six months of my expenses and now I'm doing a reserve account. Actually it's called a car fund account because I paid off my car and the next time I buy a car I want to pay cash for it so I'm saving for that now. Okay my car is going to last me a long time. I'm gonna drive it for a long time. But then when I go to the dealership I'm gonna pay the cash for my next car. Okay so this is the twenty dollars see now, if you want to participate in this, I got, like I said, I got this out of Dollar Tree. And when I'm in there, I look around and I don't see any more. Some items that are seasonable, seasonal items and some are restockable. This was, I haven't seen it. But you can go on Amazon and order like a coupon holder, go on Timu, Etsy, or you can go to Walmart, Target, look, look for something like that and look for something that has Spots like this, I mean, it can have more than seven. This one just happened to have seven. You know, the more slots, the more money you can add. Okay? So, we're going to add 
twenty dollars. Oh, I forgot to do that. Start to break my empty. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so so far I've saved forty dollars. Okay, so here's the one twenty. Here's the second twenty. Okay, and you'll be surprised how this adds up. Okay, so that's all you have to do to participate in this. Drop me a comment and let me know if you're participating in this or what you think about this video. Or if, is this video or any other videos helpful to you? I would like to hear from you. Thank you. Okay, now let me write that down. What is this, my coupon holder or folder? And I put $20. Total is $40. $40. Oh, since yesterday I forgot to add my um oh I didn't do uh add anything for my cash stuff and binder yesterday. I did a video on my cash stuff and binder, but I didn't put any money in it. Okay. Let me write that did not add. Because I was like, why did he did not add any money? I'll just put I just did like a prep talk. Okay? Alright. So, like I said, you can purchase something like this. And it can help you to store your um, $1,000 emergency fund which we should all have some kind of emergency fund okay all right so thank you for stopping by thank you for joining me and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and make sure you share this because like I said there are people that need uh, encouragement and motivation to start saving if they're not saving Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful, safe day. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy savings. <laughs>